Hello everyone, it's Fred again from Notes of a Nomad, video number 54, I believe. Uh, it's been snowing as most people probably who are in the Northern Hemisphere era realize. Uh, people I've been in contact with from Germany to UK, Ireland, of course, United States and Canada and the Northern Hemisphere, and I think even Japan, I heard, had a little bit colder weather than expected. Texas was really hit in the last few days. We had a bit of snow, as you can see. I'm going to show you a short video on the boat. This was a couple of days ago. It's becoming warmer now and melting, but let's uh, go through this. So you can see they were shoveling some of the snow off one of the boats in the dock. Uh, today's about eight degrees, so the snow is uh, rapidly disappearing, which means tomorrow is my shopping day. I'll be able to get in my car and drive to the shops because I've been sort of hunkered down on the boat for a while. Uh, today, the, th the theme is The Slight Edge. This is actually a book called The Slight Edge, written in 2005 or published in 2005, written by a very successful businessman called Jeff Olson. And what he's talking about here is what can make a difference between success and not success or failure. And what he mentioned was there's little bit difference between the habits that you have. And I really want to share this with my grandchildren. Hopefully one day they'll look at this and said, yeah, the sooner they learn this, I think the more successful their lives will be. You are successful because of the habits that you have. And we have good habits and bad habits. And as Jeff Olson suggests, you want to replace the bad habits, which might be watching too much television, playing too much video games, uh, whatever, with some good habits or eating bad food, eat good food. And it takes a while. It's not something that happens overnight. In fact, uh, it's now the middle of February and at least 80% of the New Year's resolutions have disappeared now uh, because we don't persist with that. And so you want to create habits that you persist with. Uh, and some of the previous things I mentioned, this is change, try and change, try and solve problems, and create routines. And as Jeff Olson said, you have good habits, and that is what ensures that you are successful in life. I uh, track what I do every week. And at the end of the week, I do the well, better, and best on my own. I look at what went well this week. What could I have done better? But what was the best thing that happened? And I use that on my own habits to see how I'm doing with the habits. And this is what I would call lifelong learning. And if my grandchildren or anyone else who watches this video now or in the future, wants to think this is the slight edge that can make the difference between being successful and not being successful. So write down what you wanna do, look at it, maybe health, it might be wealth, it might be um, being creative, whatever it is. That is the slight edge according to the book is entitled The Slight Edge, written by Jeff Olson, published in 2005. And I would recommend just having a look at that because that I believe will make you among the 5% of the people who achieve their goals and have a good, a happy and successful life. So with that, I will say au revoir, adios, wishing you, your family, your friends, lots of love and laughter from Fred and Notes of a Nomad. Oh, the hat is from Finland. And I thought it was appropriate hat with the cold weather we had, because if anybody knows about cold weather, it's the people in Finland. And thanks to my friend Mati for donating this hat to my hat collection. Au revoir. Bye for now.